I think inside he's really a teacher and educator and his goal was always to educate us on life. The thing that he stressed in our first tryout was we are student athletes, but let's be clear, the student part comes first. And the key is to do well in school. If you do well in school, you'll be all around athlete and it's gonna help you on the basketball court. The passion is there because it's the game. Because basketball is that kind of a game. Coach Harper definitely exemplifies that, that spirit. Because you can get excited. And if you don't get excited, the players are not gonna get excited. He's able to translate that feeling, that inner love to the players. Coach Halpert is, number one, a father figure before he's a coach. He cares about you first as a person, he cares about you as a student, and he also wants you to play great basketball. I have always found him to be one of the most honorable people I've ever met, one of the people who's truly concerned about other people. And if you see the way he deals with the players on his basketball team, that concern comes through repeatedly. People ask me all the time, it's like, oh, it must have been so tough playing for your father, but I don't really feel I had such a different experience than everybody else because I think he really was like a father figure and you know he really was there for his players, same way he was there for me. Coach Halpert and Aviva Halpert, I view them as my parents. There was a period of seven years of my life, starting in sophomore year of high school, all the way till I got married, that they really played that role for me. I mentor my lifestyle based on him and the way he lives. I really owe everything to him. He, he meant so much to me. There was a constant theme or message in the background of besides for the goal of being a successful basketball player, you were also supposed to be a Jewish basketball player and that you were representing Yeshiva College and winning and losing is not the end all be all. When you go to the park to play basketball, you know, some people may know you're Jewish, some people may not know that you're Jewish, but when you go to Yeshiva University and play for the basketball team, you have a unique opportunity and great responsibility to represent the Jewish people. One year, we won our first four games. So Johnny calls in a score to the New York Times, Yeshiva 64, Stevens Tech 48. The guy says, way to go, Yeshiva, you're 4-0. So Johnny says, who are you? He says, I'm Jewish, I follow Yeshiva. So when we heard that, we said to ourselves, you know what, we're American Jury's team. People care how Yeshiva does. Coach Halpert, always stressed the concept of team first, individual way back second. And it didn't really matter um, what your personal statistics were, whether you were a great scorer or a great rebounder, you had to play within the concept of the team. It wasn't about winning at all costs. It was about, you know, you do things to do it the right way. You, know, you play basketball the right way. You conduct yourself in life the right way. And hopefully, if you do that, you will be successful and you will win. There were many games where um, we were up uh, by a lot of points and he felt very strongly that we should not run up the score because that's a lot of time they used to do it to him. And what we learned from it is that you gracefully want to make sure that you win, but at the same time you do not want to humiliate anybody on the other side. And, and to me it shows a character of who he is. If I wanted to design a coach for a Yeshiva University team, the qualities I would want in a coach for Yeshiva, I would come up with Johnny Halpert. Why? Number one, he comes to the job with a great love for the institution and a great love for his faith. Second of all, he's highly trained in his, his discipline. He understands the game of basketball. And third, he knows how to handle these, the young men of this generation. And Johnny's been doing this, yes, successfully, for 40 years. I had multiple coaches in my life, but he's the one I always look up to and I say, that's the type of coach I want to be when I grow up and the type of man I want to be. Coach Halpert sets an example for the players of what a former player is and what he looks like and what he does. When the cantor chants, he who does the work of the community with sincerity, 
It is people like Johnny Halpert that he is talking about when they say the ultimate reward will come from God. Mm -hmm.